Okay. So far we have created our presentation with the content, with the designs, with the graphics and table and charts of course. So what we need to do now is to let it prepare for the presentation. By presentation I mean we need to have some kind of animations over it. So now let's dive into the fourth tab which is the animations tab. So let's click over here and see these are the options that you receive when you click over the animations tab. This, these are the transitions to the slide that you can put. Transition by means that how your slide will appear for the first time. When a slide is shifted to the another slide, how the transition will happen. Let's move on to the first slide. So this is my title slide. I want the transition to be something like this. That whenever it comes, it should look something like this. Let it do for the second slide. Maybe the transition should be this one. Or maybe I can I can opt for the more number of things like what this. It looks better, right? So everything is available over here. Whatever the way you want, you can have it. Let's make the slides transition from here. Right now, I'm just making the transitions of the slide. Let, let's have it something like this. Yeah. And this. Let's have it like this one. maybe this one yeah so what is happening is I'm taking up one slide at one time I'm, I'm putting the transition but if in case you want to put the transition all together it means the safe transition to all the slides you can just click over here apply to all after selecting one of the transitions so but I want different ones let's have a variation I think for lilies we have done Let's do it once again for double share tulips. Maybe this one. Perfect. Then for sunflower, maybe. Yeah, this one. And from jasmine, let's have the curtain thing. This one. And then for the table, of course, let's have something like this one and yeah charts this will do and for thank you I want to have this yeah perfect so this is what I have done right now is I have applied transition to all my slides so what I can do is you can apply transition on sound if you have any sound in your system you can apply the transition to that it means your your uh, slides will change one after the other whenever they hear this any kind of sound so if you want to change the speed of the transition like right now it's very fast and I want to make it slow so very quickly I'm going to show you one show it will look something like this right now it is on the mouse click so whenever I'm clicking the mouse off or the keyboard enter key it is getting changed so what to do if you want to make it like uh, it should work on its own right so what you can do is you can remove this on mouse click from here untick it and automatically after how many seconds you have to decide so I'm going to increase it maybe after every three seconds or four seconds it should automatically move and the transition should be medium it should not be that fast right you will not be able to see so you see the difference 
when it's fast it's it's just gone the medium looks like this and the slow looks like this very lightly so let's let's do this and apply it to all perfect let's begin now I'm not going to press anything from the keyboard see it's happening on its own I'm not pressing even a single button and with the same timings it's happening the transition has come the same way because I have applied to all so whatever we did like for here with this one maybe this one maybe and for here we did something like this it's better to have different transition because it's give more interest it adds more interest to your slides and the last almost the last one the one last one needs to be something like this yeah perfect so let's have a slideshow without the press of mouse button or keyboard button it will change see it will change after every four seconds because we have set the timings to four seconds and the transitions are automatic So this way you can have more transitions over it. This last two. Nice. So let let's see next thing that we can do so we have done the transitions we have used the speed we have used if we want to apply the same transition to all then for the advanced slide we have done if you want it on the mouse click or you want it automatically maybe uh, at least four seconds are required because if the contents need to be read by people it needs at least four to five seconds and something we have is known as custom animation so basically what happened till now we have done animation or on the transition on these slides but now I want to do it on each of the component component means any each of the object which is present so what I can do is I have to go here on custom animation let me remove this for now okay so when you do the custom animation you have to select that particular uh, component or the object for which you want to have the animation you see something gets activated on the right side and then you can click simply on the add effect and if you want it on the entrance you want it at emphasis you want on exit or you have want to have some motion path like it should go diagonal it should go left and right something like that and even you can draw your own path that how it should appear so let's do it in the entrance whenever the slide enters it should enters like this you see so what happens if I let let's do it for the second thing next second component for the second slide I want the title to come and add effects it should be change font color maybe to give some kind of emphasis and it should be on entrance it should fly in like this and if I want my letters to be written like I can select the whole of the data and I want it to be like check of code like this right so in this way what you can do is you can put the animation on each of the slide and as well as in each of the object available so let me very quickly do it for you so that we can have and obviously I want to it should grow and shrink like this list of flowers yeah right? so this should be obviously on entrance 
on the Venus Ocean Path, something like curve, something like that, and it should follow diamond. Yeah. And let's have this for image. That is the roses. It should come on the exit. We will fly out. At the end, it will fly out. For lilies, like for entrance, have it boxes. And for table, I don't want to do anything. For charts, I don't want to do anything. And for thank you, I already have one. Okay, so let's let's run this once and see how how the things are happening. Okay, flowers came up. This is the second slide with the flower coming up and the checkerboard. Here's the flowers growing, shrinking, and then we have this in the diamond shape, rose images. It says flown out. Then we have lily. It should come in yeah perfect then we have tulip we didn't do anything on it sunflower the same way and jasmine so you see this this is how you can make transition to each of the objects available in your ppt and this last button is the preview button Whenever want you you want to preview any of the particular slide, that how it's coming in or how it's working. Let's do some transition on sunflower also. Maybe the letters should fly in something like that. Let's spin them. Or for tulips, maybe let's let's do it for the image. you can have more effects from here click over here you you get more effects like basic subtle and maybe let the flash bulb something like that yeah it looks nice or for this also i want it to be like more effects color wave yeah you see the color waves happening so it, it's looking very light because the tulip is just a five letter word so maybe the complementary color yeah this looks nice so next one let's have for the sunflower add effects so maybe spin it perfect and the last one jasmine let's change the text effect on text uh, change font style you, you have to select the font style that you want or you can instead you can use font color it's changing okay so this is how you do it let's have a preview of tulip can select and see the tulip preview from here and then sunflowers preview from here and then you can have change over here in jasmine perfect so see the colors are getting changed so this is how you make your animations on your on your ppt this makes the slides more professional that's all for now let's meet in the next video